What you see here is a standard television receiver, exactly like you have in your home or business. However, there is a complete difference because you are about to view a communications technique that'll do many startling things, such as this. and this. And yes, even this. Hi, I'm Bob Hill, representing Columbia Broadcasting Systems Electronic Video Recording Division. I want to thank you for taking time out from your busy schedule to view EVR. It gives me a particular pleasure to bring to you this new communication system. This particular system has captured the imagination of everyone who has seen it perform. There are three basic components that go to make up EVR. The EVR cartridge, which I hold here in my hand, the EVR player, and a standard home television receiver. And in that order, I would like to give you a brief summary as to how they all mesh together to make CBS EVR the communications system that it is. Let's start first, if I may, with the cartridge. The EVR cartridge is very small and compact. It is seven inches in diameter, two thirds of an inch thick, and contains 750 feet of film. There are 180,000 individual picture frames here on this film format that I'm directing your attention to. EVR is broken down into two channels, a channel A and a channel B. Both of these channels contain 25 minutes of running time. Therefore, you have 50 minutes of playing time on two monochrome channels, 25 minutes on each track. Now, there are no sprocket holes in the EVR format, unlike other films, which prolongs the life of the product. There is a magnetic sound stripe down the perimeter of the film on both tracks. You can program independently each channel if one desired. Now, in our processing facilities in Rockley, New Jersey, we can accept the following formats for conversion to EVR. 35 millimeter, 16 millimeter, videotape one inch, and videotape two inch. All can be converted to one communications medium, and that being EVR. Now, why don't we move over to the player and see the rest of our system. The EVR player is compact and completely portable. Built under the lid of the player itself is a handle for portability. Located on the right-hand side of the EVR player is a simple control panel. In operating the EVR player, one simply lifts up the lid of the player, places the cartridge over the spindle, and locks it in place. It's done automatically. You press the play button, and you transmit a signal to the television receiver. You noticed how simple it was to load the product into the player itself, for it threads automatically through the player. You're viewing EVR in a well-lit room. And examine, if you will, the high-resolution TV image on the screen itself. Her face is her fortune and her future. Understand, Dr. Von EVR, in the installation of the system itself, is extremely simple. All one needs is a thin dime, for you have a lead that comes out of the back of the EVR player that goes direct to the antenna terminals of any standard television receiver and I'm sure you recall my doing it earlier in the program. Now EVR 
can be used in a one-to-one -one situation. By that I mean one EVR player to one television receiver, or you can use this EVR player for five television receivers, 10 or 20. Or for that matter, you can feed this into a standard CATV and master antenna distribution system. Now let's take a look at some of the real unique features of EVR and makes it one of the most exciting communication systems that there is today. First of all, the still frame capability. I have selected one of the 180,000 frames that I showed you earlier in our film format. And I have selected that particular frame at my own election. Now built into the face of the player itself is a crawl mechanism that allows us the freedom to be able to go frame by frame through the entire cartridge, 180,000 frames. Now think if you will for a moment. This could be a page in the book, a diagram, a bit of information. For example, if you were moving too quickly in a classroom situation or a teaching situation of any type, you could go in reverse. Or you can scroll as fast as one desired. So what I'm pointing out to you here is the storage capability of an EVR cartridge is almost limitless because you've got 180,000 bits of information contained in a small seven inch cartridge. Now, not only can we go frame by frame, but we can go from track to track, from one channel to the next channel. And if you recall earlier, we showed you Mission Impossible, which you're viewing now, and then we showed you Robert Frost on another track. Very slowly, I will go to the other track and show you Robert Frost. And I mentioned, if you recall, that you could program independently as you're viewing here. We have Robert Frost on one track and we have Mission Impossible on another track. What this could be is an English program and this could be French. This could be the question, this could be your answer. This could be your 1969 line of automobiles and here is your 1970 line. Complete flexibility from track to track. You can activate the player and continue on the other track if one desires. Where the thought comes in, the force comes in, the wild force. My friendship lately in Washington has been very strange to me. It's blundered into, and uh, I'm very much... Uh, I am now going to place the, the player in the stop the mode. I'm doing this so I can explain the very next feature with the EVR system, and that's the ability of to seek out other information further into the cartridge. Built into the player is a fast forward and a fast reverse. By pressing the fast forward button, I activate the player. You will see nothing on the television screen, but I will seek out additional information or programming material, whatever the case might be. I then stop the player, activate the machine, and we're well into the cartridge. Mighty contiguity of shade. That's fun, isn't it? That way. Uh, you know, we're taught that they're going to change to uh, the bus. You can not only go forward, but you can go in reverse. So at your own election, you can recall as much information as you desire, as frequently as you desire, and at your own pace. While the player is in motion, if one desired, you can still go from track to track. Yes. 
This is Arnoldo's handwriting. Why would he plan something like that without letting one of us know? My husband was always... I'm going to press the stop button for one moment to make another point and to show you another feature. When the player is in the still mode, there is absolutely no audio whatsoever. Let me do it and show you again the importance of this feature in a teaching situation. A simpering little romance. This allows you, the teacher, the instructor, the sales manager, or whomever, the opportunity to interject one's own personality and bring that subject forth. I might add, and you probably already noticed this, EVR is completely silent. You are not competing with a 16 millimeter projector or any other type of mechanical device. Nor am I lowering the house lights or setting up a 40 by 40 screen. You're viewing a program on a television receiver that's common to everyone. Yes, it is. But does it matter why he did it? What could work into our plans better? In order to rewind our programming material, you never have to touch the product. You simply press the stop button and the rewind button. It is all done automatically within the EVR player. You simply open up the lid, reach in to the well, and remove the EVR cartridge, which was the program that you were just viewing, completely sealed and ready for library use. EVR offers you the complete freedom of choice, viewing what you want, when you want it, and as often as you like. I thank you and hope you've enjoyed our demonstration of EVR, a development of the Columbia Broadcasting Systems Laboratories.